Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to Amazing ATS. Hope you are all having a great Tuesday. And as you can tell by the stream title, we're going to be running the Freightliner FLD120 today. Paul, Soap, how is it going today, guys? Great to see you in the chat so early. And we are, this is the truck from the Steam Workshop. So you will need version 2.1. We're also running the Fast Fix, which is available on the SCS forums. This is in the Mod Truck section on page number two of where you can download this. Big Dub, what's up today? How is it going? And right now we are sitting here in Elko in Nevada. First run today is going up to the Walbert in Spokane. 40,000 pounds worth of frozen food. I've uh, got about six and a half hours of drive time left today. So we will be stopping somewhere in Idaho to sleep. Uh, total trip is 611 miles. So without any further waiting, let's climb in the truck. Get the Detroit Series 60 fired up at 515 horsepower, and let's do some trucking. And it would be helpful if I actually hit the right buttons. Uh, one second here guys let me scoot myself a little bit closer here uh, definitely don't want those mirrors in my view Turn left. AJ Randy how's it going today guys Now, one thing about today's truck with this Freightliner FLD120, this is the truck that I mostly drove when I was driving back in the day. One minor difference, however, we drove a, well, we, more so, I drove a flat top, not the 72-inch condo that we're currently running with today. Speedometer is a row of lights. The engine brake light will be on in there. Work was easy peasy. Big Dub, please stop saying what's up. I am not going to reply to each and every time that you say that. I've already said hello to you. Join the chat or just sit back, enjoy, and watch. And the buffering guys, uh, I'm actually fine on mine, so uh, either YouTube is being really stupid or there's something seriously going on that I don't know about. Uh, 
Now, I would have loved to have been in a condo, but <clears throat> sadly, I, the two that I drove, both were flat tops. Yeah, not even close to being late today, Spurs. Oh, hey, that, did you guys know that uh, Creech Bomb came out with a, uh, a new sound specifically for the 49X? And also one difference between the real FLD that I drove and this, the two that I drove had cats in them, we're running a Detroit today. Oh yeah, I'd grab that mod immediately. Uh, really, I didn't have anything in there that I didn't have with any other trucks. But that new sound does, is pretty darn good. I would say it's better than the uh, Detroit sound that Northeast Logistics made. Yeah, I already had dinner and you guys will never guess what I had. Because it's something that I very seldom do anymore. No, did not have pizza there, Spurs. You are actually pretty close, Paul, but no brats. And since I had did grocery shopping after work today, I didn't feel like cooking when I came home, so I uh, stopped and got BK. I am normally not a huge fast food guy. Yeah, it's Taco Tuesday, but <clears throat> no tacos. Maybe later. That all depends on what you put in the taco soap. Uh, I mean, if you're talking about regular ground beef tacos, yeah, not my favorite. I'd rather do chicken tacos. And I kind of uh, make burritos out of those, so I use a, use the soft shells. Yeah, really the only time I would eat fast food, uh, like McDonald's and stuff like that, is when traveling. And But most of the time, even in my trips to, say, Reno or Las Vegas, even down to El Paso, Texas, 
mean, we really did not eat a whole lot of fast food. We would go to whether it be Perkins, Golden Corral, or something like that most of the time just to get out of the car. Baconator! Oh boy, brakes, 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 brakes. Now, back when I was driving, Randy, I, especially if I was on the Ohio Turnpike, which I didn't run a whole lot, but uh, Hardee's and getting their monster burgers, ah, oh, so delicious. Not really, Randy. We're running a 515 Detroit Series 60 underneath the hood. 18-speed uh, transmission, 330 on the gearing. We get it wound up, though. Yeah, it definitely does book. Take care, Spurs. We'll catch you on the flip-flop. Is this idiotic four-wheeler doing? <laughs> what an idiot! Yeah, I'm not big on mushroom Swiss, that's for sure. Back in the day growing up, a lot of us teenagers, when we turned 16, a lot of our first jobs, whether it, it was more than likely at a fast food place, so McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's, or whatnot, yeah, mine was McDonald's, not the greatest of experiences. I think I lasted there maybe two months before I quit. I'm trying to remember, this was back in the late 80s. I think minimum wage at that time was $3.25 an hour. <laughs> Compared to what I make now, it's like, were you stupid or something, Coda? Because <laughs> literally, I would never take another minimum wage job again.
Oh, I love having breakfast for dinner. Totally different time, Randy. Literally. Back then, that might have seemed like a lot of money. I mean, you could go to a store and buy a bottle of Pepsi or Coke for 50 cents. Nowadays, you go to a store and you get a 20 ounce bottle. What are they? Two bucks, if not more? Yeah, whatever you do, Randy, don't look at the sun visor from inside, because uh, that is reflecting the road pretty darn good. Doing awesome like a possum. And I am not going to be complaining. It's 60 degrees outside. Well, 65 and sunny. Absolutely gorgeous day. Uh, you gotta hop in the truck, Randy, and the Jake brake will keep you awake. So, have you guys seen some of the pictures? There's already, I'm not sure if we're ever gonna get them, but some of the modders have already created uh, the 72 inch sleeper for the Western Star. I saw a picture that Overfloater did in the media thread on the SCS forums. Absolutely gorgeous. And he also did it for the FLC, but I don't know if he's going to release that sleeper for the Western Star. I would hope he would. I think what they did was hack off the sleeper of Galimum's uh, Cascadia and then went ahead and threw it onto the 49X. And if I knew what I was doing in Blender, I might have done the same thing, but huh, yeah, I'm a complete and total idiot when it comes to Blender. And Mason, it is. However, this is version 2.1 for 135. 136 what you need to go with this to run on 138 is the 138 fix which is on the SCS forums so you will go to the forums click American truck simulator mods models and then trucks and this will be on page two
Yeah, I'm not going to risk going any further. Let's pull into the uh, rest area here and get ourselves some sleep since we're yawning. Navigation resume. Yeah, that would have a really uh, unwelcome effect there, Randy, if you were that low. And here's hoping maybe with 139 that we will get a running reefer sound. That would be totally kick butt. Oh, also, did you guys see that the uh, achievements for Colorado have been released? Uh, if you look at your achievements, it will show them as being locked. But on the SC, uh, not SCS forms, the Steam Workshop, um, someone had posted a picture on the SCS forums. Well, I gave that person credit and then put the image or link on the Steam discussion board. Uh, so it looks like there's going to be every city in Colorado airport deliveries um uh, riding there's one of them that was like more than likely going through the eisenhower tunnel Turn right. brakes 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 hey they work Hey Mark, how's it going today? Yeah, I... That is very weird that that's not working even when you removed it. I'm doing great today. I love this engine mod. Um, I actually, I, this is a personal edit that I did. These are sounds from Z for his Detroit series. I just added compatibility on my own for this truck. Uh, these old Detroit series 60 engines, it sounds like there's a knocking in them. And that is replicated so well in this.
I believe these were recorded from a actual Freightliner that was running a DD-60. It was either a Detroit, it was either a Freightliner or a 379. Uh, actually, it might have been a 379. How was dinner? Navi navigation resumed. Navi navigation resumed. Navigation resumed. Hey, Jim, great to see you today. What's going on? is overrated. Yeah, so am I, Jim. When I'm at work, I don't have time to do anything else. And it's literally one phone call right after another. Maybe I'll get a break next Tuesday and Wednesday when Prime Day goes on, but I doubt it. Did you report him, Randy?
and give me a second here, guys. I'm going to hop out of the game for a moment. I My track IR, I bumped it the other day, and it's kind of not lined up. Just give me one second here. There we go, that's all fixed. Come on game, don't crash. Sounds like someone's going to be busy. Yeah, he's either at work or may may just be getting home here very shortly. James was in the chat on Sunday. We're still on our first run. Uh, this was a 600 mile trip that we were taking from Elko up to Spokane. Yeah, um, apparently uh, Hurricane Delta, which is going to affect part of Mexico today or tonight, is going to hit them with Category 4. And then this weekend, it's a, there's a very good possibility it's going to go right into Louisiana. Take care, Paul.
am in the middle Atlantic, Robert, so uh, I really just a, if we get anything here, it's normally just a bunch of rain. If Bob makes it in, uh, which is one of my, one of the viewers, he's also in the UK. Now we got to ask Robert: Are you a big fish and chips guy? Yeah, you will get along with Bob quite well, I think. Hey, Bobo, what's going on today? And speak of the devil, he was summoned and he showed up. Hey, Junior, what's on? We're on our way to Spokane.
I would say we're not too far from Coeur d'Alene and then uh, right across the border is going to be Spokane. Let's take a look. Ooh, 198 miles, a uh, little bit further than I thought. All right, is fish and chips for a dinner tonight, Bob? And pretty shortly, we should be getting some awesome colors in the sky for sunset. Sunset? Uh, sorry, sunrise. Yeah, besides being Taco Tuesday, it's also opposite day. Hey, there goes one of those cheese buses. Thank you for the bypass. Is all that awesome color behind us? Yeah, it's gonna be. Right 
Uh, I don't really think they've gone down per se. Uh, I'm not going to say it's being underreported. But now that the kids are back in school and the weather is cooling off, I think uh, we're going to see a, another surge in them. Oh, Raven, you idiot. I always hated this in real life of having to use your engine brake going up a grade. And we're not doing too bad for having 40,000 pounds on the wagon. Take care, Soap. Have a good one. Do you guys know what, uh, I mean, I'm not gonna, it's kind of funny that, I mean, all the trucks that we have gotten previously, it, it, there's been retarder transmissions uh, in most of those trucks. Now that the Western Star does not have a retarder, which in all honesty is quite true as it's a technology not really used here in the states people are complaining it's like wow That's similar to the experience that I had the other day, Randy, when uh, some car, well, I'm not going to say car, some uh, so-called trucker, quote-unquote so-called, was pulling Western Stars behind him. I'm in the right-hand lane doing 70 miles an hour. He comes flying up behind me, and he sits behind me for a little bit and then jumps out. All of a sudden, his exit comes up, and he cuts me off, and it's like, Really?
it's more so the way I see that, Randy, as people really... I'm glad it's a virtually in a game when they do that. Heaven forbid if someone does that in real life and kills somebody, can you just... I mean, I would feel guilty as all hell if I killed somebody in real life in an accident. Whether it be in a car, in a truck, no matter which way, my fault or not, I would not feel the greatest. I'm just glad they do it virtually and not in the real world. Uh, if they do that in real life, they're not going to have a job very long. And when you start wrecking a company's equipment, that goes on your DAC report. And uh, yeah, and companies do look at that. If you got a bad DAC, you can pretty much forget about driving. Even moving violations, if you've got too many speeding tickets or something like that, a company is not going to hire you because you are not worth the risk to them. It's pretty much that simple. Yeah, exactly. You can't see that, but guys, Randy said you get quote-unquote blackballed, and that's exactly what would happen. Yeah, convoys are fine. I don't have an issue with convoy convoys per se. What I do have an issue with is these people in the scout cars that are supposed to be managing the convoy. And it is a bunch of kids blocking roads and blocking the left-hand lane because they don't want anybody to pass them. I mean, that's kind of ridiculous. Oh yeah, they do put points on your license here too, Bob. Uh, I think uh, it takes a while for the points to come off, but I think if you get 11 points over a certain year period, that your license is suspended. Yeah. ETS2 multiplayer, especially going on to server number two, you're, that is absolutely ridiculous. And it's like nobody knows how to drive.
mean, really, I think they should be, I mean, this may, some people may not like this, but uh, once you get over a certain age, uh, you notice that you're, uh, I'm not going to specifically call out any particular age group, uh, so mention what I, forget what I said about age, but I would think after every year or every four years when you renew your license, you should take a road test again every four years. Because there are literally some people who do, do not know how to parallel park. Eighteen points? How did they met? How was that happening, Bob? She have a lead foot? It's like, let's back out of a space at Walmart and slam into a car behind you because you're not paying attention. And these cars that have these rear view cameras in them, yeah, great and whatnot, but that does not substitute for looking to see where the heck you are going. It's like these cars that do have them, uh, when you see people backing up, you see them looking down at the screen in their car instead of paying attention to where they're going. Yikes. Yeah, no insurance here is a definite big no-no. Oh yeah, and you get in an accident with them, Jim, for someone who doesn't have insurance? I mean, forget about getting any money, or even a rental car, because uh, they don't have any money to pay. Your insurance company would probably total your car, yeah, you'll get uh, some money out of it, but geez, it's nowhere near going to be enough. Yeah, even if you have the worst driving record, there is always gonna gonna be an insurance company that will give you insurance.
driving without insurance here in the states uh yeah the cops are going to ask you for license registration and insurance each and every time you get pulled over uh without insurance you're looking at a nice little fine there too hey denovis what's going on today Let's see if I cannot miss the entrance to Walbert this time. Then the last time we came to the store, we went right by the entrance. We're going to hang our head out the window because uh, this is what I mostly did when I was backing this up too. Hey, there's our curb appeal for the day. I know I'm not going to pull out of here because it's more than likely just going to be either used packaging or empty pallets. So let's see, what else do we got here? Alright, let's work our way west. Let's go to Yakima. Uh, picking up some potassium. And this is hazmat too. Woohoo! Please proceed to the highlighted route.
Oi, V, Randy. Turn left. to the left, and then take the exit on the left. Use the left exit ahead. At least going to rail export isn't as bad as the other way. I think we only have two traffic lights going this way, maybe three. So we got that one over there. I think there's one at the garage and then the third one will be where we're going to turn right to go back to rail export. Yeah, so three lights, definitely not bad. At least it's not like Roswell and having like four lights through the middle of town, each one separated by a block and the lights are not timed. Ah, that's why I call it Red Light City. Oh, it's um, it's a little bugged, and I put I was gonna go with the longer one, but holy moly, it was worse than that. Yeah, very twitchy. Yeah, but the the longer one has a better looking radio than that.
What is that mobile parking lot doing just sitting there? Welcome back, Big Dub. You have arrived at your destination. We're just gonna go this way so that way I can get turned around here quite easily. Alright, we got three hours of drive time and this is due Friday morning. Uh, yeah, we should be alright. Hey Alex, what's going on today? Uh, what do you mean by flicking and what light specifically? Oh, some of some of the buildings do have flickering lights on them. So that is a design by SES in the game. And I've mostly noticed those in Washington here, uh, specifically at the HMSs.
Oh, I'm running a graphics mod right now called JBX. If you want to give a free one a try, you can try Realistic Graphics Mod from Firkin64. That is on the Steam Workshop. It is not bad at all. And there's a reason why he has 200,000 subscribers on that too. Oh, 49X is a good truck. Uh, hopefully someone will release a sleeper mod. I've already seen them modeled with the uh, big high-rise or condo sleepers. Uh, JV Simulation did one. Not going to touch anything by him. Overfloater has a picture of one on in the media thread on the SCS forums. It looks fantastic. Not unless someone has ported it over, Alex. Yes, it is on Steam and it's available for both ATS and ETS2 in their respective workshops.
No, J no, realistic graphics mod from FRKN Forkin64. That's on the Steam Workshop for both games. JBX is paid. How are you doing today, Ethan? Appreciate that, Bob. Doing awesome like a possum. Never seen that one, Alex, so there's no way I can do a recommendation. I do, Ethan, but not very seldom. I did previously, but since there's so much sitting around when streaming it, and it's boring for anybody watching, so I nowadays I do not. Well, the last time I did a convoy, three people showed up and that was it. You didn't, Bob, and neither did James at that time, I don't think.
Hey, Jake, what's going on today? Turn And back when I was driving, this is the truck that I mostly drove. I mean, the the two that I drove was one of them was like a chocolate brown. The other was a blue, like a navy blue. I'm also running the 138 fix for this, uh, which is on the SCS forums. Otherwise, I'm not sure if the truck is going to work or not. You have arrived at your destination. No drive time left. Woo. I'm just going to see what's here. Uh, where can we go? All right, let's uh, let's all be a little nutty. Let's go up to Bellingham. But the first thing I'm going to do before we get going here is see where we can stop. Ah, right over here. Perfect, because we're going to get ourselves some uh, Go Go juice too. Wait, that's not a truck stop. That is a dealership. Uh, let's go over. Reset that. Let's go over to here instead. That's better. Please proceed to the highlighted route. Ooh. And there is an avoid sleeping fine.
And I still don't understand why so many people knock a Volvo. They're not a bad truck. No, that's fine, Jake. Real life comes first, no matter what. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull into the truck stop and get sleep first. Then we will go ahead and get, well actually I really don't even need go-go juice. I did, Jake, and drove those on the day it came out and the next day.
Welcome back, Soap. The only time that that would happen, Jake, is if I'm on Trucker's MP. I can multitask, Jake. Uh, not very well, but I can do it. Uh, this is actually our third run. Ah, screw it. I'm gonna, since I'm going this way, I'm gonna get fuel first. And I'm going to do no BS. We're just going to pull right here and get some sleep. No, we are not going to be late. It's currently 541 in the morning. We need to be up in Bellingham by 255 and we don't have an awful long way to go. Navigation resumed. Navigation resumed.
Well, the easy way around that, Jake, would be to turn off fatigue simulation. Turn left. Yeah, for the longest time when I was streaming, I did the same thing. Uh, that would be a real company logo mod. Uh, what I'm going to recommend, Jake, is the one from Grimes. Should be Real Company Logos and Trailers version 2.0. So what you'll do, uh, Jake, is go into Options, Gameplay, and right here, Fatigue Simulation. Just go ahead and uncheck that. Oh, enjoy your Parasope. I don't need to know what you are having. The most popular is a Bartlett. Good question, Jake, because I do an awful lot when I am not streaming. Uh, I help take care of my elderly mother, so I'm a little on the busier side sometimes and doing things for her. Uh, I do watch a lot of YouTube, uh, a lot of tech tubers. Jace Two Cents, Bitwit, Paul's Hardware, Gamers Nexus, channels like that. Here comes the sunrise colors that is looking good so far over there. Oh yeah, Adam Savage's One Day Builds. I will also watch uh, some uh, How It's Made videos too.
this is my last load today, Big Dub. That is just amazing sitting right in front of us. I can't say I know that channel, Bob. One show I would love to find YouTube videos on, but uh, I can't. Uh, CMT, Trick My Truck, that was an awesome show. Not very often, but yeah, if I'm bored and it's on, I will watch it. If I do watch TV, uh, some of the shows that I watch, uh, Walking Dead, uh, Law & Order, SVU, uh, even uh, Flipping Vegas, uh, even though that's no longer made, and just watching Scott Yancey go crazy, <laughs> it's entertainment. I'm not really into the newer SVU episodes. Uh, basically, like season N11 and before when Stabler was still around. gonna jump for joy we got a bypass <laughs> hey fudgy what's up today you moronic four-wheelers Yeah, the AI is quite stupid in the game. Oh yeah, that's another, the older NCIS, I love that show. The newer ones, and ever since uh, Ziva left, yeah, I couldn't watch it. And probably my favorite person in NCIS, it's not Gibbs, not Dinozo, uh, it wasn't Ziva, it was actually Abby. Alright, take care Jake, have a good one.
No problem, Jake. Real life first. We are just outside of Seattle, uh, in Washington, of course. We're going to need the right lane. Let's get by Heartland here and get our butts over. I'm sure I could if I wanted to. Hey, Miguel, what's going on today? We're just grabbing gears and hauling freight. It might be you, Miguel. We're being nutty, so we've got 35,000 pounds worth of nuts on going to sell goods in Bellingham. Alright. For some odd reason, I still cannot keep the truck straight in that drive-by view. I'm already nuts, Miguel. I will freely admit that. We're going to get pulled in at this chicken coop too, I'm almost guaranteed. Oh, 
Oh my god, reverse psychology! It worked for once! camera could be nice um, and if there's a particular area or something that happened that you would want to save a video yeah that could definitely work oh my goodness Bob uh, yeah if they found out I was hauling nuts we would definitely be being chased by them Did you guys know that there is a hidden road right around the corner here to go up to the logging camp by chance? Alright, you have arrived at your destination. Alright, I guess we're going to finish this with the blind side. Yeah, Bellingham shortcut up to the logging camp. Yeah, I know about... There's also one in Lewiston. Yeah, so what I'm going to do after we get this load dropped here... Uh, yeah, we're going to smack that guy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hop out of the game for a second. I'm going to remove my hidden barrier mod uh, so I don't make any screw-ups. But we're going to go up to the logging camp... We're not going to take a load, but we're going to take that secret road that's there. And I was cutting that way too early. Yeah, so we had a we had a backing accident which is preventable and whoops.
All right, I'm just saving the game, so we're gonna be right here. Uh, we're gonna hop in, and we're gonna remove our hidden barrier mod. Hey Bryce, how's it going today? Yeah, you cannot use a stressed out 53 in California, sadly. You wanna know something? Uh, should I drop the trailer? Yeah, we should be on the safe side and do that. Alright, let's get rid of that. Yeah, the bridge law in California is like really, really stupid. Oh, they removed the barriers that were there. There were barriers that were there that uh, you couldn't, that you had to jump around. So uh, what we're gonna do here is uh, just when you guys come into Bellingham, you can do this and find a shortcut to go up to the logging camp. That container move in. Oh, yeah, the GPS is still going to work. That's your internet speed there, Soap. Yeah, they rem there was a set of barriers there that you had to drive around but it, they did remove those so you can actually get in there without jumping over them. Uh, this is, um, they left this in here, at, even though you can drive it, it's a hidden road, uh, just for something to do, really.
yeah, once we get to the top, we are going to end. Hey, Steve, what's going on today? I had thought the hidden barriers were still down there in Bellingham, but they removed them. Doing pretty good. Definitely not recommended to do 30 miles and well 25 on a dirt road that is bouncy. Let's see if they remove the barrier up here too. Because at one at the one side of the camp here, they did have a barrier. Yeah, barrier is gone. So uh, if you guys ever want to do that, uh, take a load down that way to go back into Bellingham. You definitely could. Uh, the Bellingham hill climb is what that was. All right, so that was the uh, <clears throat> secret road to go from Bellingham up to the logging camp. Definitely a whole lot shorter than going across 20 and then going up that big old long dirt road. All right, but I do want to thank you guys for watching today. If you did enjoy the stream, make sure that you leave a thumbs up if you're already not subscribed. Hit that red subscribe button and enable notifications by clicking on the gray bell. That way you get an email every time I go live or upload a video. Have a great rest of your Tuesday evenings. As always, keep that shiny side up and we'll catch you on the flip-flop.